Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwing and of course, welcome on back to another episode of Knack. On the last episode, we began, or sorry, we concluded chapter 3-3 and began chapter 3-4, which was of course overwhelming force, which is referring to the incredible size of Knack that we've been able to gather. I mean, look at this Knack. He is just ginormous, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, of course. But that being said, we will proceed. And uh, I guess we've got a little challenge on our hands here. Whoops. I love how sometimes they put you uh, in the fire range like that, like where you, you really have to be quick about reacting. But then, hey, you know what? Actually, I, I kind of do like that because it does force you to actually, you know, be focused when you're playing and kind of thinking about, hey, how am I going to plan to move out of the way here? Uh, how am I going to take on this challenge, that challenge? And that's really, really great in my opinion because it really does make... Does it make the game challenging? Yes. But is that a bad thing, really? I almost feel like people sometimes say, well, challenging just for this... Yeah, that's true. If it's challenging just for the sake of being challenging and kind of, you know, padding the game out, then it's kind of cheap and it doesn't really accomplish much in my mind. Uh, but if it's challenging like Knack is, where I don't feel like it is challenging for the sake of just being challenging, yet... Whoa! Okay. Okay, but it is instead challenging as a way to tell its story and whatever or kind of that approach plus i like that it's a, a game that um, you know is predominantly supposed to be targeting uh, all ages and more so of course the younger demographic but at the same time it's challenging and it's kind of like you know it's not really taking you by the hand and walking you through the park instead it's like hey guess what you're gonna have to defend yourself whoa a couple of hidden tanks Okay, I just have to smash this one. Whoa, okay. That was good. I like that. Man, these goblins are <laughs> like... I'm not trying to be offensive to them or anything, but honestly, at this point, they are like no challenge whatsoever. When we're this huge and this powerful, the goblins really offer very little of a challenge to us, in my mind at least. Okay, can I smash past anything here? I guess not. All right, so let's proceed this way and smash these boxes. And... Ooh, okay, I guess we've maximized our knack, because we couldn't even get any relics from that. Okay, here we go. So it looks like both our party has made it to the top, and we made it to the top. And there's the Goblin King. Whoa, he's got a mech? I'll admit I didn't make the no game, way. But this one's all mine. Oh my, I bet you it falls apart as soon as he punches us once. <laughs> Whoa, that thing looks awesome. Let's hope it's sturdier than it looks. Or this will be a quick Man, that looks cool though. I, I I like that. I like that he has a mech. Like how? Whoa. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is gonna be difficult. How am I supposed to? Whoops. Okay. So I'm gonna use both points here to. Whoa. What? One hit kill? <laughs> okay. That was unfair. Forget about what I said about it being not an unfair thing. Because it certainly was. I just don't get why I couldn't... Whoa. Okay. Okay. So just barely managed to... There we go. Now it's my turn to lay the smack down. Alright, come on, Goblin King. What you got? Whoa. Okay, you're quite quick, I have to admit. Whoa! That hurt. Now it's my turn. Booyah! That must have hurt. Now let me just get up close and personal. Oh yeah, look at that. We made him lose one of his shoulder pads. He's slowly but surely falling apart. Oh my, okay. I don't know if I can actually go all the way up there. I mean, I'll try. I don't know if I can pull it off. Oh, goodness gracious! Okay. So I just need to time my jumps in such a way that I would be able to actually dodge. Okay, I get it now. I'm supposed to pick up those red balls and throw them at him. That's the key. Those are mines. Haha! -ha! Have a little bit of your own medicine, buddy. Nice. All right. 
What you got, Goblin King? Man, he is tough. And this mech is tough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge here, guys. I am certainly trying to do my best. Okay, boom! That looked like a pretty good punch. Nice! Ooh, and... Oh, finish this, okay. <laughs> I was worried he was gonna say die. Because I don't think Knack is all about that. Okay, what are you doing? Whoa! Why did we do that? What if he's still gonna get up now? That's better. Okay, so I guess it kind of like overwhelms his core or something to be quite that big. And peace is restored. Time to get back to more important matters. Oh, come on, Victor. This situation is awfully fishy. And it feels like you are wearing fish deodorant, if you know what I mean. Were we supposed to just stay there forever? <laughs> Typical goblin always living in the past. Let's not rehash who attacked whose city first. Now, where did the weapons come from? Gandahar made the weapons. Who's Gandahar? Find this Gandahar. <laughs> not saying. He's scary. But Gandahar is terror. Okay, so where is this terror? Ryder, any thoughts? Well, if I know goblins, then I do. He won't like being in such a small space. Let's give him some time. I think he'll tell us everything we want to know. Sounds like a plan. We just gotta sit on down and get a nice barbecue going. What? Oh my, oh my. And there it is. Just like I thought. There had to be something go that's gonna go wrong. And there goes Gandahar, probably, right? That is the worst aerodynamic plane I've ever seen. How is that supposed to fly normally? I'll stay here with the Did you see the belly of that thing? You go. Get my nephew back. Shouldn't you go? It's your nephew? Well, whatever. I guess we have to get him back. Victor's Palace! Oh my, look at that. That is quite beautiful. He's got quite a nice palace, I have to admit. Alright, so let me guess. He's gonna want to trade Knack for... For the nephew, probably. Whoa, look at those guys. They're serious. Welcome, Doctor. It's a pleasure to have you here. Please, come this way. Victor's expecting you. Oh, I could imagine. Ooh, let's smash the chandeliers and get all super-powered. This is what destroyed 20 of our toughest robots. Believe it, Katrina. He's quite dangerous. Victor, why did you kidnap my assistant? Doctor, don't be so melodramatic. I merely took him for a ride in my flyer. I needed your full attention. And I didn't okay. be getting it out there in the woods. What about our mission? Uh, we were supposed to help those poor people. To find out where the goblins were coming from and prevent them from ever attacking us again. Well, we kind of did it. Half away. I put in my time. If you care so much, why don't you track down the rest of the goblins yourself and finish them off? Point of fact, I've been working on oh, something much. Okay, don't think of that, Doctor. That's not a good idea. Take a look. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Yes. It's true. A single relic weighing more than a ton. Whoa! Can you imagine if we can attach to that thing? That would be amazing. I have dozens like this. We are on the verge of the next step of human evolution. The power of these giant relics will be the engine that drives it. Okay, so you figured out how to power stuff with it? What's he got to do with this? Knack is the key. Which is to say, I need your pet. And I need him to be cooperative. No getting huge and nasty. No smashing everything in sight. Okay. Well, I think he's doing what you wanted him to do, and that's activating this thing. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds like an exit strategy is in place. Whoops, a daisy. I will clear the way, guys. I'm just trying to see if there's anything uh, hidden here. Okay, let's go, guys. Booyah! Alright, took care of those guys. I guess I could have technically climbed this thing first and then probably actually gone up. Alright. Smash some of this stuff here. 
Alright, careful. Man, that guy is shooting the ground. Somebody needs to teach him how to shoot. Because he's certainly not very uh, good at it, let's put it that way. Can I smash past this? Nope. Okay. It was worth checking. Whoops. Can I not jump up there? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's gonna allow me to do that. Boom! There we go. Okay, oh, those guys. So it doesn't seem like the game wants me to go to the second level. At least that's my impression. I, I could be absolutely wrong. But it sort of feels like it. Alright, what is this vacuum cleaner thing? Oh, nice. Some relics. Sweet. I guess all the things in this castle are powered up by relics and sun uh, crystals, which is very efficient. Sounds like a good new energy source. Okay. Hello, guys. I punched you in the face. Okay, what do you do? Whoa, whoa. Okay, you're a tricky one, aren't you? Do you see that? Not only does he have, not only is he dangerous as he's moving, but when he comes to a stop, he does like a little jolt down into the ground, which is obviously quite dangerous. So we want to avoid that. Okay, come on, do your jolt. And now I can get in close and punch you to the face. Okay, so I, I, I don't think that I've missed any, hopefully, any secrets yet. Okay. So now I'm just going to take a turn, and that pretty much concludes the danger of those guys. Alright. Ooh, wait. What have we here? Nice! Okay, we found a collectible! Oh, now I hope there wasn't one before and I just missed it. Oh, that would stink. Alright, so we got a sunstone battery part. This is a, quite a small build, so hopefully we'll find all three pieces there. Looks like there are only two more bits to go. So that's really nice for us, of course. Alright. Uh-oh, here we go. Rocket man! Alrighties. Whoa, what? Okay. Whew. Whoa! Okay, I did not see another guy up there. That was quite a shocker. Okay. At least I healed up there. So let me get filled up on health here. And looks like that guy's getting some orders. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Booyah! Come on. Here you Pop, pop, pow! That's what I'm talking about. I love how it's still kind of like teaching you all these like different techniques. It's be like, hey, he jumped in, dodge, and then, you know, and then obviously attack. <laughs> so that's cool. I like that. I like how it's kind of, you know, giving you a little bit of a reminder. That way, if you left the game for a little while and you're just coming back now, you would still be able to learn stuff. Those are security beams. And look. That's pretty dangerous. Toast. So... Well, won't get us out, but we can't stay here. Let's go. I guess we're going this way. Maybe Nat could have like snuck through that. No. Okay. Well, I guess we got to go this way. Oh my! Here we go. And now I've got a blaster, fella. Come on! Boom! Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Careful! 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 Oh no! 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 Okay. That guy is dangerous. Sweet! Look at that. With that combo, we took both of them down. That was awesome. Okay, so... Let's see what's up here. Ooh, nice. Some more relics. That's always nice to see. Can I jump off here? No? Okay. Here was worth checking. Alright, let's proceed, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got quite a swarm. <laughs> oh, God. Guys, we gotta run. Run for thy life, folks. Okay, so I think those things, I guess, cannot be damaged right now. Because if they could be, I would totally just go for the explosion attack. But I think they've got that little power shield around them, so... I didn't really feel comfortable wasting my sun crystals there. Alright. That was a nice sun crystal to collect, actually. Quite powerful one, indeed. Okay, can I smash past this? No, I cannot. Okay. Whoops. 
Okay. Now I just gotta get personal. Up close and personal, I should say, with this fella. Sweet. Okay, can I smash past this or no? Nope, doesn't look like I'm quite strong enough. And that door is quite well shut. Alrighty. So, plenty of sun crystals, which is awesome. So that if we do get into a really troublesome situation, we can always go ahead and use a super attack to take some of our opponents down. I kind of wish I was Giant Knack still. But then again, I couldn't have flown over here in my giant form now, could I? It would have been nice, of course, but... Unfortunately, we cannot do that. Man, I like these green crystals that are all around. They're really nice looking. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa, that hurt. Whoops. That's not cool. Okay. I took way too much damage there. I should have just gone for the super attack. I kind of wanted to do it, but then I was like, ah, it's okay. Oh my. Here we go. Couple more folks. Booyah! Oh, what? I only hit one of them? Maybe it's because I'm tiny. I can only target one enemy at this point. Whoa, okay, that was dangerous. Yes, finally, some more relics. And a good box of them, too. Which means that we're gonna get powered up. Sweet! Somebody should have uh, definitely... I think Victor should have ordered his first order. And his first course of action should have been remove all and any relics around the uh, campus, because if you don't, guess what? We're gonna pick them up and uh, obviously create quite a painful situation out of it, because guess what? We've got artillery to take you down. Can I break this? Nope, I cannot. All right, nice shot there, booyah! And then the KO. Oh, sweet. All right, so there's probably gotta be a switch or a lever or something along those lines, somewhere around here. To activate that. Ooh, this is probably it, actually. Nice. All right. So let's see what we got here. It might be a part of the battery, and it might be a part of something that we've seen before. Ooh. It's a ruby relic. Whoa. To unlock Vampire Knack? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so if you collect 15 of these... We can unlock a completely brand new version of Knack. That is absolutely awesome. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. That is awesome, Salves. And he looked absolutely menacing. Did you see that red face? He looked like a red lollipop. Well, wait, red lollipops are not that menacing. <laughs> Should have picked something a little bit more menacing. He looked like a vampire, I guess. Oh, the, well, why is that plane? Oh, okay. We're on this plane, right? Okay, good. I was worried. Because <laughs> I thought we weren't on the plane. I'm like, why is the plane taking off without us? Alright. Oh, we just faked it. That, I guess I was right then. Somewhat. Okay. We certainly will. What about our mission? Shouldn't we head back and join up with Uncle Ryder? Lucas, that's enough already. Ryder is doing everything that could be done at this time. No, what we need to do is find a way past those beams. Any ideas? Um, yeah. throw a robot I at think him. I might have something. Good. Hey, Nack. You see those patrol robots? Yep. They're using clear crystals in their spotlights. Ooh, I'm becoming a new Nack version. Twenty of them. What exactly will that get us? It will just be easier to show you. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna become Crystal Knack? Sounds pretty awesome in my opinion. Alrighty, so we're gonna have to uh, get some disassembly required on the next episode of Knack. So of course, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please smash that like button, share the videos with your family and friends, favorite the videos as well, and of course, tune in next time for hopefully another exciting edition of uh, Knack. So that being said, there we go. We've got one of them. Uh, fully disassembled, which is pretty sweet. So I'm definitely happy with that. Alrighty, so that being said, of course, on the next episode, we gotta take down 19 more of these patrol robots or patrol bots in order to make our way back into the castle, sneak our way back into past those laser beams. So, of course, do the good stuff you guys always do, like sharing the videos, favoriting the videos, and of course, I will catch you guys next time. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later, alligators. Thanks all for watching, guys.